long time ago, in a land far away, three wise men set out in search for the King of Kings. This is the story of the fourth wise man. Business, you just keep your mouth shut. In there, please. In there. That way, that way. You, you, you. Please, please be careful with that. Orante. Yes, sir. Now, I can't believe your master is willing to part with these most extraordinary pieces of art. It's terrible. It's terrible. He's selling everything he owns, sir. But of all the magi, he has the most lucrative practice and the greatest expertise. Yes, even the emperor sends for him when he's ill. Excuse me, sir. You. You, you, here. Have you bought this? Have you yes, paid for this? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Why is he doing this? Why? It's time! The service has begun! It's the final sign. I knew I was right. As faithful members of the Magi, we've deciphered books of prophecy in order to foretell the future. But the highest knowledge is the study of the stars. They are the thoughts of the eternal. Hear me! And I have an extraordinary announcement. We're in the middle of the service. Forgive me. Father, I beg your permission to speak before my fellow Magi. Speak if you must, my son. Thank you, Father. Rejoice, my brothers. The prophecies are fulfilled. Look, you. The star has appeared just as I predicted. And its appearance confirms the coming birth of a king who will govern the entire world as one family. Lord Abgaris, everyone acknowledges that your son has a brilliant mind, but uh, we Magi also practice humility. It's true, Audubon. Your search for truth is sometimes obscured by arrogance. We'll study your findings. No, no, there's no time for further study. Even now, Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar await us in Borsippa. We must leave at once, all of us, to join them in the search for the new king. Is that why you sold all of your possessions? Is that why you turned away your own patience? That is precisely why. And I have purchased these precious gems. Look, you. A sapphire, a ruby, and the most precious of all, this pearl. To bear to him in tribute. They will not leave my sight until I've placed them in his hands. But where can we find them? In Israel. <laughs> Israel. The tribes of Israel are scattered like sheep. They're a broken race of men. Mark you, I pray. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall arise out of Israel. And I am convinced he will appear in Jerusalem. Yes, well, better to spend your money uh, increasing the power of the Magi here in your own country. Let not your jealous pride restrain you from so great and noble a challenge. Your arrogance is only surpassed by your insolence. You claim I have no humility while you, Tigranus. Use the power and knowledge of the Magi solely for your own personal gain. Enough, please, Lord Abgaris. I know he's your son, but can this be the man chosen to lead the Brotherhood? Come, let's go. Who then will join me? Rodespis, we have long awaited this day. Won't you join me? I want to, Arnold. I want to. As you know, I've just taken a new bride, and I certainly can't take her with me. But you, you've worked so very, very hard. You've reached the pinnacle of success. 
How can you just throw it away so quickly? How can I not? I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. My dear friend, go. Go if you must. May your steps prosper. Farewell. And you, Father? I know full well how you long to transfer the burdens of the Magi to my shoulders. But I shall be worthy of that responsibility only if I have done this thing first. For I am confident that it will give my life new meaning, real purpose and direction. This sign in the heavens may lead to the king, or it may be only a shadow. And after a long search, you'll find only emptiness, more darkness. Are you suggesting I not go? Better to follow a shadow of the best and sit content and do nothing. Follow your star. Be true to yourself, my son. Thank you, Father. Orantes? Yes. Can you prepare for my departure? Yes, Master. It didn't go well, sir? He's searching for a king who has the power to restore the dead to life. Perhaps he's trying to restore life to his wife and children, sir. You'll serve my son faithfully. Does, does that mean you, you expect me to go with him, sir? You'll never leave his side. Despite all hardships or temptations. Sir, I am a slave and I must obey, but I, I, I must tell you that I would much prefer to stay here. Bring him home safely and you're a freed man. <sighs> a freed man? Yes, sir, you have my solemn vow. Good. Send me four reports. I, I will indeed, sir. God be with you both, Arantes. I certainly hope so, sir. Lord Abgris, it is my fond hope to see you very, very soon. Farewell. I must reach for Sip and ten days, or the caravan will leave without me. But, sir, we can't possibly travel more than ten parasites a day. Fifteen if we tax ourselves. Ah, uh, yes. Fifteen if we tax ourselves. Lord Abgris, greetings. We have been traveling for nine days straight, without a single break to eat or sleep. During the day, the fierce heat presses upon us, and yet on and on we ride through snake pits and sand dunes. But, despite the hardships that this wilderness has plagued upon my body, I do not complain, because I am protecting your son from the dark dangers that lurk behind every miserable gully and every jagged peak. As we near the end of our journey, he has finally come to recognize and appreciate me as a source of wisdom and strength. I remain your loyal servant. Master, I'm chafed and bleeding in very sensitive places. Very well, we'll rest here briefly. You are most kind, Master. Ooh. Ooh. We can still reach Porsippa by midnight. Just in time to leave with my friends for Jerusalem. It's a lonely take a moment. Yes, sir. The man's a complete stranger, and, and, and he's dead as well. He's alive. Master, consider this, Master. If we don't leave soon, 
We'll never get to Borsop in time, and your friends will think you've given up and they'll leave without you. Perhaps so. Oh, but if we leave now, he'll surely die. Master, your goodness is renowned uh, everywhere. Uh, but w what claim is this miserable beggar on your compassion? He claims my skills as a physician. Now, quickly, in my saddlebag, there's an herb. There's an herb, I know. I don't, I, 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 really, I don't understand, sir. You sell everything you own. You leave everyone you love. You go out looking for a king, and you don't even know whether he exists or not. And at the first opportunity... <laughs> the king will wait for me. I'm sure of it. There's a lunatic. Well, your appearance is infinitely improved. How do you feel? Well... Good. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you. I have great need of your prayers. I'm on my way to Jerusalem in search of the new king of the Jews. But our prophets say he won't be born in Jerusalem. He'll be born in Bethlehem in Judea. In Bethlehem? In Bethlehem. Water. Well, here, my servant will bathe you. No! I mean, it's very late, Sarge. We should be getting on our way. I'm sorry, I can stay no longer. Here, my cloak, please. Leave him some bread and water. We, we have very little left, Master. Then leave him all of it. Ah, yes. All of it. Again, louder. <clears throat> Casper! Melchior! Balthazar! How could they have left without me? How much is left in the purse? Just enough for our passage home, sir. Take this and sell it. But it won't be necessary. We're not going home, Orantes. Oh, may, 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 I, may, I, may I ask where we are going? We'll need camels and provisions to follow them across the desert. See that we get them. Master, this desert is a very, very big place. We're not equipped to make this journey by ourselves. Don't waste any more time arguing. Just do as I say. Greetings. Are you sitting down? Your son, against my good counsel, has sold one third of his fortune to buy camels. He's assembling a caravan to take us across the desert to Bethlehem. I keep saying to myself, just get him there. And then home, and Lord Abgarus shall give me the reward he promised, my freedom. Oh, they're here. They're here. sort of town. Hmm. 
Strange. Yes, excuse me. We were wondering if you've perhaps seen three men dressed as my master's dressed. Yes. You saw them? From a distance. But there's lots of gossip about the precious gifts they gave child in a manger. People thought it quite peculiar. A king in a manger? No, wait. Could you show us this place? Please. Did you learn the name of the child? No. No, its parents were strangers. Here only to be counted for the census. And what became of the family? Gone, secretly. It's whispered they went as far away as Egypt. Egypt? And my master's friends? Disappeared as quickly as they come. This is it. Ever since, an evil spell has been cast over the village. An evil spell? What, what kind of an evil spell? Some say King Herod is angry about the birth of the child. He'll drag our men into slavery. They've all gone into the hills. My husband as well. Master? He's a beautiful child. Brought such joy into our lives. I had a son once and a daughter. Master, please. Thank you for your help. Bye. All in all, promising information, I say, sir. We can't be terribly far from them. Quickly, uh... back inside. Oh, Master, if there was a trick, that's a good Stay with the baby! Take the baby, quiet! Oh, who's there? I'm here alone, and I'm willing to give the prudent young captain this exquisite gem to leave me in peace. No child here. Let's move out. Are you all right, Master? I'm fine. Madam, don't be frightened. No harm will come to your son. Sir, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Thank you. Come now. We will escort you into the mountains to be with your husband. Master, how did you get them to leave? I gave them something to speed them on their way. But you don't have anything except uh, the ruby or the pearl. The ruby. Come, please. Here, I will take the child. Please, we must hurry. Well, shall I make preparations for us to go back to Persia, Master? No, Egypt. The king is in Egypt. Well, Master, how can we find him? We don't even know his name. But we know where he is. Come. Uh, Egypt! Lord Abgris, greetings. For some time, we wandering around the palaces of Egypt, searching for this king who, if he exists at all, must be three or four by now. Master! My servant. Master, I found him. Found who? The savior, the child that you've been looking for. 
Master, I'd like you to meet Joseph. It's an honor to meet you, sir. The honor is mine, sir. And Mary? Madam. And their child, Benjamin. Benjamin. May I? <laughs> He's about the right age. <laughs> Art thou a king? Your son was born in Bethlehem? Yes, in, in a manger. And uh, we were visited by two magi. Three, three magi. And what gifts did they bring him? Oh, uh, well, let's see. They brought um, frankincense and uh, gold. And uh, honey. Myrrh? Was myrrh, yes. Myrrh. He liked the myrrh. I'm sure. Well, forgive me. I trust my servant has not inconvenienced you. But, but, Master, you're in the peril. You found your savior. We can go home now. Why, you're not covered with shame. You still don't understand, do you? I must find him. Otherwise, my life is meaningless. To give this gift such a long and arduous journey. <laughs> Forgive me, Rabbi. I'm lost and confused. In my homeland, I had achieved great power and prestige. And I was blessed with a beautiful family as well. And suddenly, a terrible fire took my wife and children from me. I mourned. Then I despaired. I threw myself back into my work and study, but it left me empty, vacant. Then I discovered the sign foretold by your ancient prophets announcing the birth of the King of Kings, and I set out to find him. What can you expect from him? I felt compelled to serve him. Somehow I know that he is the only one that can lead me to life's real meaning. Yes. Yes. I've searched all of Egypt, and every palace, and every temple, and found nothing. Perhaps you are not looking in the right place. You mean he's gone back to Jerusalem? It's reasonable to assume that the king of the Jews would be in the land of the Jews. Hmm? Yes. But I don't think you should look for him in the mansions of the rich. Where, then? In the hovels of the oppressed? No. The spirit of the Lord has been given to me. That's Isaiah quoting from Messiah. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to bring liberty to the captive, and to give the blind new sight. king, a messiah, especially love the poor and oppressed. And why would he live among them? <laughs> because they need him more, because they have nothing else. Who knows? It is a great mystery. God's ways are not our ways. My son, may the Lord make his countenance to shine upon you. Go in peace. Lord, 
Ambrose, wherever we are, I know it's not home. Believe it or not, we are headed back to Israel. It turns out that this so-called king does not live in a palace. Artaban has now decided that he reigns supreme in the slums. I am not enjoying myself at all. Please, please. Bring them to me. A healer? I am. Then come, my son is ill. A gang of cowardly thieves from this wretched place attacked us, and one of them took something from me. I want it back. I want it back now! Heal, my son, and your possession will be returned. <gasps> Who's there? Shh, I brought someone to help you. Good. My son is going blind. He has a high fever. There are several procedures I can attempt. Some fresh water, please. We have very few friends in the outside world. We help those who help us. I have something for you to drink. Yeah. Mm. Drink it all. Uh. Very good. You rest now. I don't know if it worked by sundown. Hey, Kron! Come here! Master, that's him! That's the thief! Get some fresh water and bandages. We need someone with healing skills to care for all these people. Well, we'd like to stay, but my master's on a very important mission. If you could stay for just one day, it would be of help. There are lepers here, master. Leprosy is contagious. One more day isn't going to make any difference in finding the Messiah. These people obviously need help. I have to say something right now. I'm not going to touch them. You can beat me, you can burn my hair off, anything you want. I won't touch them. As you I'm wish. not going to As help. you wish. Then kindly find the horses, have all my medical supplies sent up here, and come back for me tomorrow.
One day, sir. You promise. One day. Now be off. Don't be afraid. Master, shouldn't we be getting ready to leave? <laughs> One more day, Arantis. Yes, we are still at the colony of outcasts. One day has stretched into two, and a week, and a month, until I have finally lost count of how long we have been here. Mm. Forgive me, I'll be more gentle. Will you kindly tell him I must change the bandages? We have no bandages. Still, I refuse to help these disease-ridden half-lives. Go! Get out of us! Ah! Is he gonna be all right? He'll be fine. Ah. Steady, steady. Those people hate us. If they had their way, the Roman soldiers would wipe us out tomorrow. Let them try! How long must this continue? Instead of thieving and whoring to support the colony, you could become self-sufficient here. Now, you could grow your own food, you could plant. Who would teach us? Suppose I could get you started. So, start. I trust that your son will soon 
come to his senses so that he may continue his search or even better give it up yours in desperation or Bronte's. Garris, I beseech you to contact your son. Please urge him to return home. If he refuses, send someone to help me drag him out of this foul place. He seems happier than I've ever seen him. Why, I, I, I will never know. But what I really wonder is, how long can he keep this up? Your son works morning, night, and noon, Lord of Garris. His sleep always interrupted by another cry of pain. In this world of anguish, he finds many to help, but none to follow. It seems he has completely forgotten his quest, Lord of Garris, and I will never get home and never get my freedom. As I unwrap the bandages, you should gradually see more and more light. And now... Uh... Nothing. Nothing, Ottoman.
longer must we sit by and watch that colony of riffraff suck off our land. It was one thing when they stopped buying food from us, but now people are actually going out to that hell hole to buy the, the fresh fruits and vegetables. Suck this dry. I, I propose a law barring normal people from associating with that type. And if that doesn't work, we'll, we'll burn them out. Oh, oh, look, everyone. It's my faithful servant, Orantes, come down from the mountain. <laughs> he who vowed he'd never set foot in this place. <laughs> yes, sir. I have something to tell you, Master. I was just hearing the townspeople. They're, they're uh, in a... uh, enough. We've heard it all before. No, this time they're serious. Sorry. Orantes, it occurs to me I've been far too lenient with you, indeed. All that's going to change now. Henceforth, if you want to eat, you will work the farm like everyone else. No! Oh. Then starve. <laughs> you're my master. You're obliged to feed me. Not if you don't do as you're told. Yes, sir. has changed completely. Rather than being able to elevate these creatures, he has become one of them. Signed, the slave, Arantis. Having fun, are you? I'm afraid tonight. Why? I don't know. Something's wrong. Harvest time in the leper colony? What could possibly be wrong? I don't know, Rogers. But something's wrong. <laughs> Again, we'll make this place as good as it was before. No, not I. I have nothing left to give. Come again. What is it you want? A man named Artaba. I'll he. You have a visitor. Tigranus, I can't believe it's you. Old friend, too many years stand between us. <laughs> Father? 
This is Shamir, my daughter. You've become quite a legend in our country. Yes, yes, you have. Uh, frankly, when I saw that you were in a <laughs> colony of beggars, uh, tell me, did you ever find your king? No. Uh, did he? Hardaban. The power of the Magi has grown tremendously. Due in no small part to my financial leadership, we've extended our trade to Israel, and it promises to be very lucrative. Come with us now. We'll take care of you. But I don't need your help. Oh, Master, listen to Lord Tigranus and his wisdom. He once said to me, let not pride stand in your way. I say the same to you now. And I say again, I don't need your help. You don't have the courage to admit that you were wrong. Your father believed that one day you would return and rule the Magi. If he had known how you've disgraced him, how you've wasted your life among these scum, it would have killed him years ago. Even if you do someday find your king, how can you possibly serve him now? You're a beggar. What do you mean? Years ago? Your father's dead. He died miserable, alone and surrounded by strangers. <sighs> Come, Shamir. Let's go. Can't we stay and help him? No. He doesn't need our help. been like that for days, just sitting, just staring into nowhere. His spirit's gone. He's a broken man. Isn't there something we can do to help? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give him back the last 30 years of his life. Master! You want a fig? If you ask me, Master, you've made only one mistake in your entire life. Thinking too much and not eating enough figs. Well, I'm very glad to see that you can still hear me. Time has come for you and I to part company, your hunters. What do you mean? You've never been happy here. You never wanted to leave Persia. You only stayed with me because of a vow given my father. My father's dead now. I release you from your vow. And I grant you your freedom. My freedom. With my blessing. Leave it to you to give me my freedom 30 years too late. In the most godforsaken place on the face of the earth. It's no concern of mine. Why are you doing this? Because I've grown weary of your constant whining. Well, that's the gratitude I get. Gratitude for what? Thinking of no one else but yourself? Looking down on a group of people who deserve your caring and respect? You've never been the slightest use to me, Orantes. I don't know why I kept you in my service as long as I have. Now leave me. Go your way, a freed man. Such a hurry. Audubon has granted me my freedom. And you can leave him so easily? Yes. He's an arrogant, overeducated idiot. What was that all about? You know, I'm dying. My heart won't see another harvest. Is that why you sent Orantes away? He's been a good and dear friend. I don't want him to witness my final defeat. What chance is there of finding the king now? Wait, my sure. I'm going with you. 
with you. Yeah. Take it to town. Sell it and buy the things the colony needs. It hasn't lost its luster one single bit. I should have done it long ago. I realize that now. Perhaps I'm not worthy to enter his kingdom. Or perhaps his kingdom is only a figment of my own arrogance. Why have I always tried to do everything alone? You are not alone. Hosanna to the son of David. Make way for the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the son of David. Make way. Come to the house. Hosanna to the son of David. Come. Come. Friend, friend, what's all the commotion? It's the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Uh, another prophet. Uh, this one is real. God is in him. God has been working in him. He makes the lame walk. Come with us. Lepers clean. The deaf they hear. Dead rise to life. The blind recover their sight. Hosanna to the Son of David. Come. Where are you? Where are you going? What do you think? I'm going to him. Hosanna. I'm going to see him. Uh, forgive me for bothering you, particularly since I don't believe you exist. But if you do, uh, I have a bit of a problem. If this man, Jesus, is the one that my master's been waiting for, perhaps I should go back and tell him. But if I do, I'll just get trapped here. So what should I do? So all of this talk about freedom and all it's meant is a lot of responsibility, and I'm not sure I like it. Hmm? Thanks, uh, Jesus is terrible. Some of the people are actually following him. Most of the people are following him. He puts himself above Moses. Above Abraham. Who does he think he is? He puts the spirit of the law above his letter. All he talks about is love. It makes me sick. He stirs the people up. Raises their expectations. This man must be silenced. Stopped. Killed. Orante. Master, I have something to report, Master. I have found him. Who? The one that you've been searching for, Master. The Messiah. Uh, no, please, Orante. I'm too old and sick for any more of your tricks. No, it's not a trick, Master. His name is Jesus. Uh, and he, he is from Nazareth, uh, Master. Go back to Persia, please, Orante. Master, he does things only God can do. Look, look. Mother? Oh, <gasps> oh, My good friend. What happened? Tell him how it happened. Uh, you remember I, I went after Jesus? Yes. Well, the crowd thrust me forward. I heard a gentle voice speak to me. I touched my eyes, I could feel the love and the power flow in. And all of a sudden... He has made the blind to see, Master. The blind to see. It must be he. Yes. He is in Jerusalem, my Lord. You, you must go to him. Me? Oh, no. Oh, not now, not like this. He'd never receive me. He weren't so. He, he surrounded himself with the blind, with, with the cripples, with the homeless. This is true. I have seen it. Yes. But I have nothing to give him. I... I did not sound this. I could... Somehow I knew that your search was not over. 
Yes, master. Will you go with me? As, as your slave? As my brother. Yes, I will. Then we go. that Jesus, the Master, was here. You just missed him. He and his friends finished eating and left. Can you tell us where he went? Who is it who asks? I am a Potobon of the Magi, and this is my brother, Orantes. Together, we have searched most of our lives for him. You must know where he is. What do you want with him? I know him to be the Messiah. Please. I am old and ill of health. My one last wish is to see Jesus before I die. Pardon my suspicion, but you're strangers. You could be working for the Lord's enemies. So He's told too many people things they didn't want to hear. What things? Like, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who persecute you. But these are strong words of truth. Too strong for some. But I trust you. Go to the garden at Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Who is that? What do you want with me? Wait. We've come for Jesus, the Master. I don't know who you mean. Yes, you do. You're one of his disciples. I don't know the man. You do. I saw you with him last Sunday. And I tell you, I don't know the man. He knew. He said I would deny him. How did he know? Calm yourself, my friend. Can you tell us where he is now? Judas betrayed him to the Pharisees. And he was taken before the Sanhedrin. And now Pontius Pilate has him. And he will kill him. We were told that Jesus, the Nazarene, might be here. Yes. Oh. But I'm afraid at present he's otherwise engaged. But we must be allowed to see him. No one enters here, old man. What's all that noise? <coughs> it's a 
this coronation ceremony. attack, Master, but I've sent for Judith to come and help take care of you. And what's happened to Jesus? He has been taken to a place outside the city walls called Calvary, where I am afraid they are going to execute him. We must go there. Master, you are ill. Please, I beg you, stay here. Listen. With this pearl, we can ransom him from his enemies. We can prevent his execution. This child. What happened? They killed my father. I'm being sold to pay for his debt. Wait!
gone this way. Stay with him, I'll go for water. Yes. Lord, it is you. You're alive. Oh, Master, I have long sought you. Forgive me. Once I had precious gifts to give. Now I have nothing. Artaban. You've already given your gifts to me. I don't understand, my God. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was homeless, you took me in. Oh, not so, my Savior. I never saw you hungry, nor thirsty. I never clothed you. I never brought you into my Oh, I've never seen you until now. Whenever you did these things for the least of my brothers, you did them for me. Harant, did you hear? Did you see? We have found the king. We found him, Warrant, and he has accepted all my gifts. We will bury him near the tomb where they lay Jesus. Where would you go? Oh, back to the colony with you. There are many there who need our help. <laughs> 